Japan has always been known for its technological brilliance. Apart from its beautiful islands and hot springs, it is the world's most literate and technologically advanced nation believed to be making products that are inconceivable and can blow your mind. But what if I told you that there exists a Japanese hotel that is staffed completely by robots? What if someone told you that Japan has an all-robot staffed hotel? A hotel that is fully managed by humanoid female robots? How would you react if checking into your hotel was done by robots? Unbelievable, right? Continue watching the video till the end to make this come to reality. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. In this video, we will be talking about this Japanese hotel that greets its guests with robots. Awesome, right? We will be noting down the ins and outs of the hotel. So if you would like to be aware of such awesome hotels, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. Japan has never failed to amuse its audience with any kind of product they have come up with. They have the most creative minds in the world and their technical products are so awesome that the country has literally been called a technological hub. This new hotel, run by a person named Hideo Sawada, has something quite unique to offer. But what is it? Let's look into it now. Hideo Sawada came up with the idea of opening a hotel with the initial idea of making it unique and cost-efficient at the same time. He wanted to do something about the rising hotel costs, but at the same time wanted to do something innovative. Thus, an idea struck his mind. His idea was to enable robots to take over basic human jobs at the hotel, which in turn would bring down the costs significantly. His belief was that every luxury hotel may need staff for extra care and attention. However, for normal hotels, all that is required is a nice, cozy and comfortable stay, which can happen with very minimal or no interaction with a human staff. Thus, he came up with a name for his hotel first. He named this hotel Henna, which literally means strange or weird in Japanese, thereby living up to its name. One of the Japanese definitions of Hen implies to change which in turn represents the hotel's commitment for evolution in striving for the extraordinary sensation and comfort that lies beyond the ordinary. He made sure that his guests were greeted by someone at the reception, but this someone is not a human. As you enter the hotel, you will be greeted by a dinosaur at its reception. Yes, and the dinosaur pleasantly says, if you want to check in, press 1. Adding on to this, he says, please do not ask me difficult questions because I am a robot. This is the world's first hotel with an all-robot staff. He introduced a concierge robot with recognition who gives you information about breakfast and events, and has deployed a drone to carry snacks to every room. The owner is quite ambitious and wants to open more such hotels. He even wants to bring his drones to sing, dance and perform for its guests. However, in order to maintain the sanctity of the hotel and to ensure the security of its guests, Hideo has deployed humans at the security thereby ensuring that everyone is safe and no untoward incidents take place. The concierge is like a doll, which is hairless and has voice recognition capabilities that mostly prattles event information and breakfast, but it cannot perform errands like calling a cab or any other errands. Your experience starts with the English-speaking receptionist, who is a dangerous-looking dinosaur. From there, it moves on to the front desk porter, which is an automated trolley taking luggage to the room. This hotel is part of an amusement park, which insists on using robots not just as a mere gimmick, but as a serious effort to use technology and achieve efficiency. After the dinosaur's greeting, you can find this beautiful humanoid female robot who checks in your luggage, after whom you come in contact with a one-foot-tall robot who paves the way to your room. With facial recognition-like features, one does not have to go through the standard procedure of using electronic keys to access your rooms. Your hotel now registers your face as a digital image during check-in, which then allows the guests to check in and out easily, thus defeating the problem of losing keys. You can also see a giant robotic arm, which can usually be seen in manufacturing companies, sitting in the glass quarters in the lobby. This lifts one of the boxes stacked into the wall and puts it through a space in the glass where the guest can place an item in it to use as a locker. They will then put the box back into the wall until the guest wants it again. This system is called the Robot Clock Room. However, staying at Hanna can cost you about 9,000 yen per night at their hotel as a starting price rate. But the interesting fact here is that this price is still much lower than what other nicer hotels cost, which is about twice or thrice the cost of the hotel Hanna. 
The owner is extremely excited to open more of its branch and has huge ambitions for his robot hotel concept. He is also very keen to add other languages such as Chinese and Korean to the robot's vocabulary. Room service is provided to the guests via a block-shaped robot that can be seen scuttling around in the lobby and is capable of delivering beverages and snacks. Outside the hotel, we can see drones flying around that can deliver small jars filled with snacks. Inside the rooms, we can see lamp-sized robots which are in the shape of a fat pink tulip called Tuli, who answers simple questions like what time is it and what is the weather tomorrow. You can also use it to turn the room lights on or off since there are no switches in the wall. Thus, it is like your personalized Alexa, not built by Amazon. However, the owner claims that these robots still can't make beds. Sabada has also reported to have engineered the rise of the popular affordable Japanese travel agency. The hotel offers choices of standard, superior, and deluxe rooms, which come with all the amenities like the normal hotels do. Most of the rooms contain huge glass windows with a park view and Wi-Fi is available in all the areas, free of cost. The hotel is located in the Nagasaki Prefecture in Japan, amidst the Hui's Tenbo theme park, which is about 20 minutes from the Tokyo station, and about an hour away from the Haneda Airport, or about one and a half hour away from the Narita Airport. Japan has been considered to be the world leader in robotics technology, and the government is trumpeting robotics as a pillar of its growth strategy. However, the use of robots to do menial tasks in place of a human is not new, but has been in practice for a while now. Robots have been in use for manufacturing, but interest is also high in exploring the potential of robots in human interaction, which includes helping care for the elderly. But these robots can also become dangerous if not kept under control and constant vision. This is one such problem that the Henna Hotel has been looking into. The hotel still relies on humans for security. The hotel is dotted with security cameras and people watching over everything through a monitor to ensure guests are safe and no one makes off with an expensive robot. But with the technological advancements these days, we hope that these problems will be solved one day, most certainly. Do you think robots can take over every human task one day? Can robots automate your day-to-day -day tasks and provide security at the same time? Will robots overtake human jobs and increase unemployment in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya.